Five women were allegedly gang raped by six, six suspects at the Leporong village in the Atok area in Limpopo yesterday. Police spokesperson Mutlafela Mujapilo says it's alleged that a group of six armed men stormed into two funeral parlors where they gang raped victims, shot and injured one employee and brutally assaulted six others yesterday. Mujapilo says they have opened five counts of rape, three of kidnapping, attempted murder and business robbery. SABC News reporter Pimani Baloy has more. We're coming to you live from the Wisani Burial Society at Ramatabata Librogong, where a brutal crime happened on Saturday morning, between Saturday and Sunday morning, where we understand that a group of five women were raped while they were waking, they were sleeping here in the sleeping quarters of this uh, funeral power business. To speak more about what actually happened, I'm joined by the area manager of Wisani Burial Society, Mr. Rodney. Uh, Madike. Yes. Dade Madike, um, we understand that this is the place where this brutality happened. What do you understand happened? Um, what we, we understand is that um, um, a group of, of gang uh, entered into our premises and then uh, they accessed our, our sleeping quarters for our staff and they found uh, our st staff sleeping here and then they brutally attacked um, all of them and afterwards they, they raped some of our female uh, staff members. Mm. I understand they also went to rob the business. Yes, after their, their brutal deeds here at sleeping quarters, they, they proceeded to the office where they, they robbed, um, uh, they robbed the, 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 in the office and then they, they ran away. Um, the, 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 the safe uh, with the safe how do you understand they gained entry into the facility um, the, when we were just checking around around the yard we found that they gained access on the, on, on, on the fence there and they, they proceeded into breaking down our, our battery unit for solar power mm -hmm. that connects our, our fence and then uh, from there, they proceeded to, to the sleeping quarters. Thereafter, they, 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 they took the keys from our employees and then they accessed the, the office building. Let's talk about this uh, quarters specifically. I understand there are rooms for your employees and that the incident took place right over there. Mm -hmm. Explain to me what you think, what you've been told happened. We are told that um, some of the, 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 the employees were, were in their rooms and um, they were sleeping obviously because it was uh, at night and then uh, the robbers went into their rooms and they, they pulled them out of their rooms and then they lined them up here while assaulting them and then uh, even the, the brutal rape happened here in front of everyone. But uh, yes, uh, our staff uh, were badly injured. Mm. Uh, talking about the injuries, how are they faring now? Where are they? I understand it's 11 of your people that were affected, six males and five females. How are they faring right now? Um, as you can understand, the, the, the brutal uh, incident that happened, um, the, the, the other staff members were released, yes, were discharged yesterday and then we are left with three staff members that are still at uh, Pulusong Hospital in Polokwane and uh, the ladies are were also uh, treated and given counselling and they, they are now at home with other three male staff. Thank you so much, Mr. Madike. As Mr. Rodney Madike, who is the area manager of this facility, was explaining to us, a group of gunmen who were heavily armed, six of them, gained access into this facility where they found workers sleeping in this facility. What we understand is that three of the women who were here were actually guests and two were employees. Well, there were also six males. They attacked all of them, assaulting all the men and women, but then went to brutally gang rape the five women. What we understand, this incident could have started at around 8 p.m. on Saturday evening, and they actually managed to call for help and call for police at around 1 a.m., where police came in and help was gotten where they had to get several, you know, private vehicles to ferry the, all the victims to hospital.
themselves. That's when they got to get uh, uh, assistance. There's a police statement released by the uh, provincial uh, police here in Limpopo, which says they are searching for the six suspects. They don't like, from what we understand, there are CCTV cameras that could have captured these people as they were inside the offices where they say they stole the, sh uh, the safe that kept money in this facility and fled with it. So right now what we know is that there is CCTV footage that could have captured them, but what uh, some of the uh, victims have relayed to Mr. Madike and other employees here is that these gunmen were wearing ballot lovers and they could not have been identified. At this point, police are searching for them. Police say they are facing six counts of um, five counts of rape, uh, several counts of attempted murder, as well as three counts of kidnapping, which uh, pertain to the three women that they say they picked up on the road when they were making their way in to this facility. We also understand that there's another funeral power, uh, funeral parlor that neighbors this specific one, which was also uh, entered into by this uh, gunman. We are not sure yet if they were able to, if they, they managed to harm anyone there and if they also managed to rob the facility of anything. But right now, we've seen family members of the victims, mostly the ones that Mr. Madike say, the three ones that still remain in hospital, coming to this facility to just clean the rooms where they were when the attack started and to make sure that when they do recover and come back to work they find this facility ready and safe for them to return to work right now uh, the company says it has gotten uh, a private counseling for all the victims and ensured that you know the trauma that they went through is dealt with but we've also seen government social workers in the facility talking to some staff members who were not present during the attack and we are also, we've also heard that they've also reached out to the ones who have been re released at, at, at their homes right now, as well as the three ones that are still in hospital right now. This, are de this is a developing story, and we will be speaking to police to find out how far their manhunt for those six aspects is, is, is going.